Um, you know, and then they put this guy in charge of cleaning up Enron, who just happens to be the guy they put in charge of cleaning up FTX. Well, I think crypto, first and foremost, was simply a prototype for CBDCs. Oh, wow. Yes. Right. So, so you know, here's the way we used to do it on Wall Street at, at the big firms. Solomon Brothers, perfect. You tell 10 different vice presidents to go do something. You wouldn't tell them that you told nine other to do the same thing. And they'd all go try and do it. And they'd all come up with different ways of doing it. And then they'd end up competing and fighting with each other. And from it would emerge, it was a way of getting the best one fast. So yeah. instead of asking one team and then firing them and getting a new, you just ask 10 guys to do the same thing. And, and that's the way you prototype. Prototyping is very organic and very messy. And you just try lots of stuff and, and you know that most of them will fail, but in the process you'll figure out what works. Right. So I think crypto first, first and foremost was a prototype for how you get to a digital control system. And the mistake we're making is, is we're allowing Mr. Global to take it 100% digital, at which point we're in a digital concentration camp. We're yeah. toast. If yeah. we allow that, we're toast. It's over. And that's the central banking digital currency. That's yes. know, that essentially, the, yes. The digital ID, the merger of those two, that's it. You're in a slavery system. You're going to be in a digital concentration camp. If they want to take your kids, they will. No law. There's no law. It's a slavery system. Right. And They'll do whatever they want. They could even do it and morally grandstand that they're doing it for climate change, for example. Oh, right. <laughs> right. Cannibalism, good for climate change, you know. Catherine Austin Fitz, I have a question.